hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you are the man on a stick. Yeah, dude, I'm playing it. And we are playing a Madden 21. We are. I'm nice and smooth today, yeah. mellow. Just dropping them subtle tones and nubile voices. Sultry overtones. Yeah. Be like Barry Wild, baby. Feel like you want to make love to me. <laughs> oh, no, they don't, dude. You want to make love? Making your voice reverberate with mm. love making in their eardrums. I like it when you touch their, their cochlear implant. <laughs> I'm showing this. I'm not trying to get in anybody's cochlear. We'll watch the intro. Look, there's me, dude. <laughs> Wow, he's like in front of a video screen. Look at him. Look at him go they, down, dude. I'm like, no. Me, dude. <laughs> I love it. I love it, dude. Yeah, this is great, dude. Wrestle. Yeah, yeah dude. dude. There comes his song, dude. I just want to see, like, dude. I just want to see John Cena, like, doing the yeah. you can't see me thing. Like, just for, like, one. Just for one frame, that hand is not even attached to anybody. I want to see Randy oh, Orton. Oh, are you with a cut? Look at we're Oh, there's an RKO Randy oh. Orton. There was a RKO of Randy Orton. Yeah, yeah he's dude, strong, dude. Cool. That was enough for me. That's all I got, friend. <laughs> what are you giggling about, dude? <laughs> It's funny that they have like a wrestling intro for the match, dude. <laughs> I mean, the game is trash, so I mean, they wow. Have to... I mean, it's okay. So, so dude. look, you've put in how many hours into this game so far? This game? Yeah. Before before we get into some real stuff, because we got some real stuff to talk oh, about. Oh, like, episode. well, okay. How many episodes that we've done? This is the fifth game, so probably I don't know, two hours. I mean, like, I right. really haven't done a lot with the games. Ooh, I'm just gonna put my arms out because ain't nobody close to me. Um, and we and we shared all of that with you at home. And we're, yeah, we're, we're um, glad to. Yeah, exactly. Because like I'm still, we're still technically on the EA early access, so like I don't like the game doesn't come out until fr this coming Friday. Yeah. So um, when are you gonna come out of the closet? What I want to know. Uh, as, as loving women, I'm already there, dude. Jonas, if you were to come out of the closet, do you know how big our channel would get? Really? Yeah, Jonas being gay gets you views. We Why? could do like makeup tutorials. You know, while we do videos. I'm sorry, I, I got us off track. So you've got about two hours of gameplay in. Yeah. We'll talk about you being gay soon That's later. That's not the truth. No, I mean, Jonas, listen, we can make it the truth. All right. <laughs> We're truth, not facts here. <laughs> we, yeah, now. exact truth. All right. You put in two hours into this game. How do you feel it stands up? Does it feel any different? When you play it, it's the same game, dude. And so it doesn't feel better, worse. Is it a lateral? What is it? Give me, give me something. All the stuff they talk, they hyped up, like, dude, pure runner ball control. I'm like, it's the same controls you've had for ten years, dude. Like, what are okay. you talking about? It's different. So they advertise the same game to in you in a different way, dude, and with different colorful language. I mean, like, I haven't got to fully explore, like. The superstar mode and ultimate team and the yeah. dude, I unlocked a new uniform for my Avi, bruh. Like, yeah. I haven't gotten chance to do all that yeah. yet. And Lord knows I can't wait to have fake clothes for a yeah. fake character. <laughs> but, like, you know, dude, I mean, hey. <laughs> really, I'm really glad you caught it in Avi, dude. That was great. So <laughs> 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 you can pay attention. Uh, <laughs> all right, so Jonas is saying that's lateral so far. I would. You, I would say yes. I feel like you don't necessarily utilize like all of the things that are granted for at yeah, your disposal. Because I don't, I don't, um, because I don't submit to uh, uh -huh. microtransactions. No, that's not what I meant, Jonas. I meant as far as like movement of your characters. Oh no, and, like, I do, bro. I know all the stuff. And like hit sticks and stuff. You use all that stuff. Hell yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, I use hot routes and like audibles I mean, and yeah. I like I like juke and like I I don't I don't like juking. I'm not a juke boy, but I spin, I stiff arm, I I hit stick up if like yeah, dude, I do it all. All right. Fair enough. And on defense, I like I would take control of a guy. I jumped to catch interception. I just don't like Do playing defense on the I've never videos. seen you play defense. <laughs> I, I like I used to all the time when uh I used to love playing defense like when before we did it for the channel because like it's it's really just like a time issue and it's not very inter oh did you see his goddamn legs get broken? I can't say how many minutes are we into the video? We're five minutes in <laughs> before you start using <laughs> a blasphemous profanity. <laughs> I am literally a blasphemer, dude. You, I, well, Jonas, fair enough. Joe, I want to ask you, Jonas, 
What is a red flag for when you meet a person? Not necessarily the opposite sex. I don't want to get you off on that tangent because I already know. I'm not an incel, dude. No, I'm not saying you are an incel. Well, we, like, anytime I say anything negative about anything, you're like, no. that's incel baby. No, no. It's just that if I get you talking about women, you'll, you'll go on for hours. So what is the biggest red flag for when you meet anybody that you feel? Meeting them or like an experience with them? Well, yeah, either. Um, one of the biggest red flags that I that I personally don't like is if is if I, I'm supposed to like go hang out with someone and they're late or going to be like super late or need and like don't call and like let you know. Really? Really? Yeah. Punctuality is important to Jonas, 2020. Well, like, if you're going to be 10 minutes late, like, whatever. But if you're going to be, like, 30 minutes late, an hour like, give me a mother effing call, dude. My time is the only thing I have a finite value of. Okay, I feel that. I feel that. Like, I don't care if you're, like, 10 minutes, whatever, dude. But, like. I figure, okay. That, I, 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 I get you. I do. I do. But that's, like, common courtesy type things. I would have to say that even more egregious than that. And I guess, like, it's all about your own point of view. Even more egregious than that to me is if they, like, pull out at the last minute. Oh, like, compl- like flaking? Yeah, 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 then that's along the same line. Well, because it all no, comes down to wasting no. your time. Flaking is not the same as being late. Being late could either A, be your fault, be bad planning. That could be the way they were brought up. Flaking is just like, hey, yeah, I'm gonna come hang out. You know what? This place kind of sucks. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> what? We just got here. Or flaking is like, oh yeah, man, I was gonna call you, but I can't make it. Well, and that one, I guess, like being like, I get, I'm in, meant to include that with being late. Like it's like it's kind of all like, it's all kind of universal. Like last minute cancels. Like being like late. Not, it's like disregard. Cause, See, like, but being late, I'll be late. I'll be late. 100%. And I might not text. I'll show up, and then we're going to have a great time. Because I don't flake. But I, I late, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but it's it's a little different. Like, if it, with you, <laughs> if it's like, and I know how, the, like, if you're going to a party, yeah. you'll show up late. But if yes. you're supposed to meet one person, and you and that person are supposed to hang out, oh, you're not going to no. be late. I'm not going to be late. Right, exactly. I That's what I mean. It's like showing up late to a party to let it be kind of established before you get there is one thing. Yeah, I guess that's kind of the way I was thinking. Because the, the only time I go to meet like a single person would be if it's a female. I'm not going to meet some dude to go have a beer. You've never met like a buddy and just went and had a beer? That's a freaking lootly not Joe. Who the hell just meets another man? Like, me and Couchman Pete went out just to go grab wings and beer, dude. Like... He's like, hey, you want to go grab some wings? Yeah, sure, I'm hungry. Yeah, he, but... Really? And I'm not going to show up 30 minutes late to that. Yeah. Just so he gets there and gets established. Yeah. I guess I've... You know what, Joe? I guess, like, I've never really had, like, an adult friendship on that level. Maybe. <laughs> I just don't have any... <laughs> just never really had that type of... Mother- I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not a socialite. Just You're a, not, imagine. Dude, I'm not. Cool. I can I can definitely play the game. I can slip in my chameleon outfit on and be as social as hell. But oh, I'm, yeah. Definitely not like, hey, let's go hang out and talk for 20 well, so we hours. So we both agree that like some sort of like flakiness, like being like ridiculously late, not letting is like is a red flag. So like, okay, get that. I, but I don't that. agree with being late as a, as a part of that. Being late is all right, man. It's like, hey, so look, you, I so, understand being late. So because you're supposed to hang out with someone and they, and they show up an hour late? On a one-on-one basis, being late is, is just, uh, it's irresponsible and it's... Uh, what do you call it? It's, it's a red ru- flag. It's you, rude, yes. It makes you feel they're not reliable, which is a red flag. But in a party setting, being late is perfectly yeah, fine, yeah, especially if you show up and you produce. Yeah, I'm sh- I'm talking one-on-one hangouts. All right, well, all right, yeah. Situationally, being late is a red flag, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Or in, but it's another thing of, like, you're supposed to meet somebody at 7 to hang out, and they're like, hey, dude, I'm caught up. I'll meet you at 8. Yeah. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Like, But if it's, like, 7.40, and they're like, oh, sorry, dude, I'll be there at 9, like... Bro, <laughs> I've been sitting around for forty minutes waiting for you. Now you're gonna be another hour late. Like, come on, dude. All right. Uh, let's go. Let's give another example. Okay. So you meet a guy and you guys are cool. Like, hey, dude, come out have a couple beers. You go out have a and couple he beers with his some... girlfriend. And no, jeez. <laughs> Did you have a situation where you met him? Oh my god. <laughs> And like he was like he was he didn't like hit his girl, but he like got like aggressive, and you were like, ah, uh, yeah, dude, I'm good. Oh my god, Jonas! Uh, you know what? And honestly, 
I have been in like two or three occasions where like I was just hanging out at somebody's house and some act of domestic violence just started breaking out, man. Right, dude. And it's, it's like, not funny, but no. it's kind of messed up. It's like if, if, they, if they were willing to do it in front of you like that, like what happens when you're when people aren't there? So the case you're talking about is I was at this guy's house and me and him got along really well because he was a video game addict, probably even worse than me. And we would just hang out and play video games for like 10 hours straight because right, be that's yeah, whatever. Yeah, you got a video game friend. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's like playing online, but you were in person. <laughs> yeah, but I really was friends with his girlfriend because we worked together or whatever. And we would always just like talk and we were just chill. I know how to like not be the creepy guy. Right, right. It is hard not to be the creepy guy. It is. It really is. But like, is. I mean, I, I can walk that line pretty well myself. Yeah, it's hard to not be a creepy guy, but it's, it's possible. Either way, she was like, well, we can hang out, but obviously my boyfriend has to be there. I'm like, I, I understand. Ended yeah. up being friends with the guy. He was a cool guy for a little while. And, but I remember one day she comes home from work. We're playing video games, and obviously he hasn't cleaned anything. He has, he's just been home all day. He hasn't started dinner. He didn't put the chicken in the sink like he was supposed to. Oh, like he was supposed to thaw out chicken for yeah, dinner? It's always the, you got to thaw out the chicken or the ground beef or something. Like, you didn't even put the ground beef in the sink. Like, ah, oh, dang it, man. You, what do you do? You start putting the hot water on it because maybe. And then she's like, no, it's going to be watered down. It's not going to taste the same. <laughs> No. You can always tell when the person forgot to put the ground beef in the sink and they've just been pouring hot water on it. Oh, you can tell a thousand percent. You can always tell. It's like a different meat. It, it, <laughs> it might as well not even be beef. It is. It's like this cold, it's like a meat hot pocket that you put in the microwave for like a minute and a half. Like <laughs> this, this outer shell of like warm gelatinous meat and like this cold ice core like the center of uh, uranus dude it's oh dude the center yeah dude anyway <laughs> so he, he didn't do anything because you were playing video yeah games. so like there was clothes all over the place i was like dude i remember even telling him like dude you gotta you can go ahead and do what you gotta do he's like ah forget it all right, right he's like it ain't nothing dude don't worry it's my house no no he was he he didn't sound like that he sounded more like you actually anyway <laughs> <laughs> dude it's my house <laughs> oh no, a little bit kind of a cross between the two. Okay, cool. Anyway, so she like comes in and uh you know, she's like, Well you you know, obviously she's she's unhappy. She's been at work all day, like, you've been home she, playing like, video being, games. Like overly like mean or was she just like saying like, dude, why don't you do anything? Like I've you've been I've been at work all day, you've been playing video games. Well okay, Jonas, here's the thing. I'm sing I was single dude, and ru roughing the kicker is a problem with this game. Three awesome. I'll take, take it. it hey. So I'm single and I play a lot of video games. So I have nobody to answer to. Right, right. If my room is messy, pff, it's my it's my fault. Ain't yeah. nobody in there but you. Exactly. If his if his abode that he lives with his his girlfriend is messy, then you know he's got to answer to her. Yeah. I mean, so, they share a space. Yeah. So. It was just a different level. So, yeah, she was not happy. And, you know, apparently it must have been an issue because, like I say, he was an addict. And uh, then they just, like, you know, I don't know. We started yelling at each other. And then they just started wrestling. And it seemed like it was play at first until the coffee table got broken. And then I was like, you know, I'm probably going to go home. <laughs> I'm probably just going to dip. <laughs> like, I think I'm, I'm good, dude. And, like, you know, like, get to the car and it's cold out, these dude. These mother effing interceptions. Car it's, it's cold and he runs out. He's like, hey, look, dude, I just want you to know that that's not usually how it goes down. She's okay. I'm okay. I'm like, yeah, you know, that's fine, man. It's cool. Like, you, you guys have your own thing, dude. Yeah, you know, in fact, I left my wallet. You just keep that. <laughs> I left my wallet. You just keep that, all right? I get a new driver's license. It's cool. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't do I do not do domestic violence, well, yeah, man. I don't think anybody. Like, and it's just like, mm -hmm. it's, well, it's like you said. It's like the iceberg effect, dude. If that happens in front of you, what the hell happens when you ain't there? Dude. Dude. If they feel comfortable enough to break the effing coffee table when a stranger's in the house. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't intentional that they broke the coffee table, Dude, but the I coffee have, table I have broken. wrestled around with girlfriends, and we've never broken the coffee table because it was truly a playful, fun, like, let's ha ha, let's horse around. And see, I don't do that, it's Jonas. I don't wrestle around with no girls. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna play like that. That's like, that's like using, like, uh, <laughs> 
just like using like anti-Semitic jokes and like in your free time or something. I don't even want to play because one day it might come across the play and maybe somebody's got a different idea and somebody gets hurt. I'm not taking that chance. We're not wrestling. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've done it, but I have in the when I was younger. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I was never into that. That was that's a red flag for me. <laughs> if if you try to like wrestle with me or something, oh, well, yeah, that's a like, red flag for me. <laughs> that's a red. Yeah, dude, flag. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to wrestle. I'm not gonna try to put you in the razor's edge. <laughs> I'm gonna run up to you and try to like. Oh, that seems like it'd be right. You. I don't know. That kind of feels like that'd be right up your alley. I would not. Do that. <laughs> I don't know why you think I would. Do that. <laughs> like, girl, let me let me let me stone cold stun yeah, you. Yeah, do guys stun you real quick, dude? It's cool. <laughs> No, um, like that's definitely a flag. Like I'm trying to think, like what else? Uh, okay, you pick the dude up and he's like, all right, dude, he pulls out his heroin kit. And well, of course. <laughs> right, so. well, I think people who lie for no reason, like white lies, dude. Like if I'm your friend, there's no reason you need to white lie to me. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Like if you're just like, oh yeah, dude, I couldn't come over because I had to whatever, and you're wow. like, just tell me why you can't come over, dude. I don't give a f why you didn't yeah. come over, like. He's like, oh, I was, so wow. did, I was busy doing X, Y, Z. And then you talk to, like, his girl or his buddy. He's like, yeah, dude, he was over. We were all hanging out doing whatever. And you're like, he told me he had he, his mom. He had to go up his mom or whatever. And I'm like, wow. why lie? Just say no. Or it's like, you know. Jonas, I can, I can with confidence say that I can't even think of a time that I've lied to you in, like, the last. I don't know. I don't know. Well, like, here's, here's the thing. like, I'm why, sure I have. Like, why do we have the need? Like, where is there a need to lie about Definitely anything? Is it? Right, dude. It's There's like, no reason to lie. We, we are we are roommates and friends. <laughs> like, what is there to lie about? Exactly. Like, we barely talk as is other than the podcast. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, happy wife, happy life, man. Yeah, but like, it's like, yeah, dude. Like, I don't like. I I try not to lie at all. But like, they're, like to my buddies and stuff. Like, what is there a reason to lie about? Like, what, if like I didn't call you because I forgot, I'll be like, yeah, dude, I forgot. <laughs> like, no. sorry. No, jo if you're gonna hate on me because I forgot to call you back or something, like I'll be real with you. You're more apt to try to socially engineer than why. <laughs> I mean, manipulation is. A lie. <laughs> I respect it too, but I recognize when I recognize it, and I'm like, ah, uh -huh, motherfucker. I'm sorry, you can't say that on the video. I bet. <laughs> you you scared swear. I have passions. Dude, five roughing the kickers in five games. Take them, dude. I'll take, take it, them. but come on. Dude, I'm sorry I swore on the video, Jonas. It's okay. No, it's not, dude. I said the F I get, word, I get too. A, I get a freebie, man. You don't get a freebie. <laughs> That's a mar on our record. Of, You're the one who ruined it. I, well, I'm aware of that. That's Why'd you why, ruin our record? If we were just like tit for tat, if it was quid pro quo, then I'm a, I've got freebies all over the but board. You, but you, you, you scared swear, dude. Like, why'd you pass? We haven't played a horror game in 20 decades. Resident Evil 3, bro. Res no. The last time I swore was uh, Dead by Daylight. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. I think you swore during Resident Evil 3, though. There was some jump scares where, like, I'm at a door and a zombie comes up behind me and stuff, and you're like, Mother, I'm a doo 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 doo. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But yeah, those are our flags for friends and everyone. <laughs> hey, we won. Yay, dude, we did it. I can't, I want the end again. We all did it, guys. Oh, yay. Couldn't have done it without you guys at home either. Thanks for joining us. That is all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy your content. This guy does Twitch stuff. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That is TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. Sweet. Uh, for Jones. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are out. Uh...